the Pops episode was a bit weird where they just, you know, made Pops have powers or some shit like that. Even though we've never seen anything before through six whole seasons about his powers. But it was cool to see two Pops episodes in a row. And um, the final was awesome. It was a pretty cool thing. Though I actually remember like watching some of this when I was a kid years ago. So I knew that when I pressed the button it was going to go off the island. But what I didn't like is how, you know, skips, high fives, muscle man, etc. All those guys didn't tell Benson ever that, um, that one science guy said that he would get fired if he pressed the button. They never told him at all. In the end, they don't even mention it. They just press the button. Um. I did like the twist that Eileen was on there. Though, I thought it was obvious. At first, I thought she was running to go see, like, the end of the graduation after seeing his speech. It was cool to see that she ran all the way to the house just to make him one of his favorite desserts. It wasn't really expected. But if she wasn't running there... It just seems like an easy twist out of what is all coming if I thought into it a bit more. Um, the birthday episode was a bit weird. Or he goes through this super hard game with like these bugs and stuff. And then in the end, the game is just him jumping two times and the game's over. Though he, he can even play as, like, two different characters, so I guess that's cool. And then, um, honestly, they, they could have made it, like, super easy, like Rigby would do. But, you know, like, add the bugs into the game, but they'd be, like, super easy to beat. Because if they were in his game, shouldn't they, like, be in the actual game? And then they just be super easy to beat, just like the game is super easy to beat. Benson dating Pam is a bit weird. I thought Audrey was cool, but they weren't really doing anything with her, so they just had Benson and Audrey break up off screen. It, it was a cool relationship. If they would have done something with it, it would have been cool. But, you know, they didn't do anything with it. Thomas coming back was sort of cool. But he has that stupid accent. Now. And I don't know why he would, like, fake an English accent for, like, the longest time. And then just switch back to Russian so easily. And at the same time, though, he's perfectly fine with, like, being called Thomas. But not with, like doing the same voice for a few hours that he used to do when he was around them. And that was a bit weird, but you know, it's not a big deal. Um, Pops episodes were cool, though, like I already said. And, um, that one episode where they had the VHS stuck in the VHS player, it already felt weird. Because they were, like, done with VHS ever since, you know, that one VHS episode. Where the VHS would try to destroy all the laser discs and stuff like that. They were done with it, and then there was the part two with the DVDs and stuff. And they hadn't really used the VHS in the episode since, and then, then they'd just randomly do it in this one. But, um, anyway... His arm gets stuck in there later. But the VHS is stuck in there and they want Skips' help. They tell him it's an emergency. But when he comes, he just they just say, um, we need help, this tape is stuck. They don't tell him it's like due in like 28 minutes or anything. Because I bet if they did, he would have helped. They just say it's stuck. 
so I thought that was stupid. But I also think that was kind of stupid because they didn't really do the VHS anymore, all because of the old episodes that were already established, so. And I didn't really like Party Horse. It was kind of annoying. And then they brought him back in Season 7. I don't know who was asking for Party Horse, but... Whoever did, I guess they were happy with this episode. Yeah, that's about it.